everybody, so welcome to today's video. Today's video is actually my 2017 best and worst makeup products. I am gonna be doing a lot more makeup-y videos on my channel this year because I've got into makeup so much more over the last year and throughout this year so I'm just going to be doing generally more makeup-y related videos. So today's video is just going to be me going through my best and worst products. There is actually quite a lot of worst products which I was not expecting um, but let's crack on and also my hair is a little bit like pooey today. I just kind of tied it up. There is also a blog post on my blog about my skincare favourites if you want to see my skincare favourites that um, went up on my blog yesterday so that will be linked in the description as well if you want to go and give that a read. I am going to be posting every single Friday at 6pm or 5pm at 5pm on my blog every single Friday if you want to go and have a read of some things. So yes, the post that goes with this video is my 2017 skincare faves. Let's go and check that out. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. So first of all we're going to be talking about my favourite best products of 2017 makeup. So the first one is the Ordinary Foundation, so I'm going to kind of go in order of like how I'd apply it on my face. And this is the Coverage Foundation, they do do the Serum Foundation. And I'm going to try not to talk about things too much because obviously I've spoken about them before. But this is really, really good coverage and compared to some previous foundations that I've tried, it actually is quite thin in consistency which means that it spreads across your face and covers really well with just one pump. It really does kind of spread. I think the coverage probably equals other foundations like the Rimmel um, 24 hour but the fact that you only need one pump of this to create that coverage means that it's better for me. This is definitely a product for oily skin rather than for dry skin. So if you've got dry skin, it might not go very well with your skin. I have watched videos where people have said that and that's why, where I'm going from. I do have oily skin so, and it works really well with me. So that's where I'm kind of getting that from. But yeah, this is definitely a favorite and it's so cheap. It's like five pounds something. So I'd recommend, you know, going and buying this. Another favourite is the Collection Loose Powder. This is a favourite for the fact that I am such a convert from pressed powders to loose powders now because loose powders are just so much easier. They last so much longer and you can get as much product on the brush as you want. I always found that with my pressed powders they would kind of break and smash and then you kind of struggle to use them but with a pressed powder they're already broken so if you drop this or you know it kind of gets crushed in transport then it's fine this particular pressed powder from the collection is actually a little bit like it's got a bit of pigmentation in terms of color and that's not so good because it kind of does leave your face looking a bit orange it oxidizes ever so slightly um, but that's not a massive problem for me um, so you know I can kind of get past that but yeah and there is definitely more kind of translucent powders out there that do give more of a kind of, I don't know, they're a little bit more finely milled, whereas this one isn't. The next one is the Natural Collection Bronzing Pearls. I have discussed these before and they are literally these tiny little pearls in this, oh God, I've just got a mess. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> just made a little mess there. Um, these are tiny little pearls and they basically have different shades in them which means that it gives this kind of really natural glow to your skin that's very bronzed. I've got it on today up my cheekbones and kind of on my forehead area. It just looks really natural and it also is quite pigmented. It gives like this glow. It's really hard to explain but I really do love these and they're very cheap because they're only from the natural collection. So yeah, these worked very well for me. My favorite blusher, I have probably mentioned in last year's favorites. I swear I've had this blusher for like absolute years but it doesn't you know, nothing ever beats this one. And it's in the shade 106 Peach Haze. I got it off Amazon and it was one pound something years and years ago, can't tell you where it's from, so I'm not gonna talk about it that much, but the shade of it is absolutely perfect. It's like a pinky kind of peachy shade that just looks really natural. I've got it on today. It just, you can make it look as natural as possible and it's not too pink and kind of fake, it just, I don't know, it adds that subtle hint of blush. Next up we have the NUA highlighter. The lid has fallen off now, but never mind. I literally, this has been mentioned so much on my channel, but it's a, such a good highlighter. It just does exactly what you want. I've got it on today so you can see the highlight there and like just basically all over my face really. Um, but it's very, very pigmented as you can probably see on my finger. And it just, 
I don't know, it's three pounds and it just, look, can you see? Like there, it just shimmers so nicely. You can really build this up so that it's actually really, really kind of blindingly highlighting or you can make it subtle. And it's like, they've got so many different shades in the range, so go and check them out. I now have a couple of eyeshadow palettes to talk about. The first one is one that I've used throughout the whole of 2017 and it was definitely a favorite. And this is the Zoeva Coco Blend eyeshadow palette. And the shades in this are just perfection. Like when you first see this palette, all you're drawn to is this shade here. I know, I can tell. Um, and this one's the shade Warm Notes. The pigmentation of these colors is amazing. Like look at that, like that is just ridiculous. Let me just put that on my hand. Yeah, look at that. That is insane. Oh my God, I love my new lights by the way. I've got new studio lights, which means that when I actually show something that's shiny, you can see it's shiny on the camera. But yeah, these shades are just amazing. Like look at them all. I use um, this one and this one on a daily basis because they're just perfect transition colors. But yeah, this has been something I've loved throughout the whole of 2017. And then for Christmas, I did actually get the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette. And I've used this every single day since. I absolutely love this palette. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because it's not a 2017 favorite as such. Um, but I did get it in 2017. I just love it. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but I just wanted to mention it. Just look at this palette, just look at it. Thank you. Now for mascara, there's definitely kind of a standout mascara and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Black Mascara. It's not exactly the most mind blowing mascara in the world, but it was a really good one for me. It was definitely a favorite for me. The applicator is just a very average kind of normal one that you would ever see in your life. It doesn't add too much length to your lashes and the volume of it is good but it doesn't clump or anything like that. So it's quite almost, it could make a very subtle look, which is what I really like, whilst also adding that volume that doesn't clump up. So that's why I really liked this one. I then wanted to mention the Primark Brow Kit because I've used this all the way through 2017 and probably before. This shade here was actually a gel and I have actually ran out of that, or wax, whatever you call it. Um, I've run out of that. I use that, you know, straight up. Now I'm on to using these two powders here. I use both of them every single day on my eyebrows. So you can see this is how I do my eyebrows and this is what I use. I just love it. I just think it's the perfect little kit for doing your eyebrows. The pigmentation of the products are amazing and you can't really go wrong when it's as cheap as Primark prices. Okay, now onto lipsticks. I have my Essence lipstick in the shade number six and this one is something I've worn absolutely so much throughout 2017 and before. This is like my favourite lipstick. I will try and swatch it on my hand for you to kind of see the shade. Um, it's this here and it's just quite a subtle kind of, well I say subtle, it's quite a nudie brown colour so if you want to go for a brown you'd start off with this one. I literally, this is my everyday lipstick for six form, it's just it's just perfect. I love my browns, as you can probably see. This isn't a lipstick in this video, I'm wearing it, but it's not mentioned in this video. It's a new one that I've got and I didn't wanna mention anything that I've kind of got new because, you know, it is new. Okay, the next one is a matte lipstick and this is the Makeup Revolution uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick. It was actually a lip kit in the shade Noble. This is just honestly, the perfect nudie brown shade in the matte liquid lipstick range. Again, I'll swatch this for you on my hand. Oh my God, I did an awful job at swatching that. I do apologize. Um, it's this one here and it's like such a kind of nice, neutrally kind of color. I couldn't have picked a perfect color for what I like. And it's one of those colors that you can just wear to six one and get away with it um, if you're allowed makeup. And you know, I just like it. The formula of it's good. It lasts really, really well. It doesn't feel too drying. And I just think the formula of it is actually quite nice. And then finally, I wanted to select a lip gloss of my kind of favorites of 2017. And this is the Primark, oopsies. This is the Primark High Shine Lipid, Lipid, oh my God. Um, lip gloss and I love this again there's a theme running through with these lipsticks they're all brown so I'm gonna try and swatch this for you it is a very similar shade to the matte one so this is the matte one and then this is the gloss so it's a very you can see the shine it's a very similar shade but honestly this is so pigmented for Primark you would expect 
you know, not too much. The product is so pigmented, like it really does kind of just like cover your lips. There's no sheerness to this at all and I would recommend going and giving this a try. It actually comes as part of a lip kit with a lip liner, so yeah definitely go and have a look at Primark's makeup because they've upped their game. Okay, so that was my best products of 2017. Now we're gonna be talking about the worst products of 2017. And a quick disclaimer, these products might not be like awful for you. They might not be awful for everyone. In fact, some people might say that these are their favorites. They just don't work for me or there is a reason why I personally don't like these products. So, you know, it's not like I'm just saying this because I want to, this is because I have not got along with these products in some way or another. I might like them for something and then hate them for something else. So that's why they've made it into this video. A lot of them I have actually sorted through last night and I've decided to throw out or give away to my mom or you know whoever wants them. Um, so I'm not gonna be keeping all of these because you know they're the worst products. So the first one is the collection Primed and Ready Conceal and Corrector thingy. Now when I first got this I was very kind of intrigued. I thought you know let's give this a go. It came with a little concealer which I do still use so that was very handy. It was the Collection Lasting Perfection um, and it was £5 and the Collection Lasting Perfection concealer on its own is about £5 so you know it wasn't kind of too expensive. These two shades here are for obviously colour correcting. I've used both of them. They do nothing. They absolutely do nothing to your face like all you can see is this product when you put foundation over the top of it it doesn't actually cover up this which you would think it would even with my full coverage foundation it will cover blemishes but it doesn't cover these two shades here um so it, it's a no-no from me and then this one here is just a normal powder which i can still use really but i've got my I've got my powder so I don't really need that for anything and it did come with a tiny little brush that I've never even thought about. Um, so this is a no from me for the fact that it doesn't really do anything. I think colour correctors in general just don't really do much for me in general so I'm going to be giving this to my mum if she wants it. A next 2017 massive no-no is this foundation here. This is, hi Tommy. This is the collection Naturally Matte All Day Fresh Matte Foundation. This foundation is disgusting. When I first tried it, I was like, you know, it wasn't actually that much of a price, like it was actually a decent price. I was like, oh my God, this is awful. Like it's the most wateriest foundation I've ever tried. It kind of clumps to dry areas of your face. It isn't matte at all it, it looks quite wet on your skin it doesn't look matte at all um it looks quite cakey you, it, you can see it kind of clumping together you can tell you're wearing foundation there is nothing good i can say about this at all and if you're looking to buy this don't like i actually would say it wouldn't suit anyone and if you've got this and it suits you and you like it then please let me know because it really doesn't with me. It's just the worst thing I've ever tried in my life. And I've still got it because I knew that I would include it in a video at some point. And here it is. The next one is actually something that's kind of like, not a hate hate, but it's kind of like this product is not very good. And this is the Natural Collection Concealer. I recently did actually get this. And I have said previously that I did kind of like it, like it was all right. But as I've tried it, over and over again I've started to notice that actually this concealer rubs off the foundation underneath so when I put it under my eyes um, it will rub off the foundation that's underneath and make you know that area look a lot redder which is the complete opposite to what I want you can see a line of where I've put it because it won't blend out that easily it's one of those concealers that doesn't blend with your kind of other foundation underneath and I just I just don't like this and I don't get along with it and there's no point in me using this so I am going to give this to my mom to see if she wants it because there is still some products left in it. The shade was perfect. It's not full coverage at all and it doesn't blend at all. The next thing is also from Natural Collection and this is their brow pencil. I gave this a go, it was like £1.99, I needed a new brow product and it's awful. The, it isn't pigmented at all. I could probably rub it on my hand now and no product would come out. Like, look at that. That is awful. You should see product when you do that. And it just doesn't. It, it makes your eyebrows look super pale when mine aren't pale. <laughs> 
at all and you know the only thing I actually have kept this for is the spoolie on this end to kind of brush through my eyebrows um, which I do use every day so I will keep it for that purpose but it's just not pigmented it feels very plasticky and it's actually a real pain to sharpen so I, I wouldn't recommend this. The next one is the MUA Matte Lick matte lipsticks now i have actually got another shade of this that i do still use and i do still quite like i don't like it for the formula but i love it for the color this one is bad in all ways now this is a very kind of nudey um a very nude lipstick let's just say that um i'll try and swatch it somewhere here it's very very dry that even it's this one here that even when i apply it onto my skin it's very patchy it feels so dry it doesn't last long at all and it's just kind of really sticky and just kind of i don't know it just feels awful and when you're putting it on you can feel your lips dragging and it doesn't look nice and I won't be keeping this because it's way too pale for me. The colour is just not good enough for the fact the formula's awful. Um, they're only a pound, so I suppose I could say, what do you expect? But they've got better lipsticks in the range that are satin and they are amazing for a pound. And then second to last, I have the Sleek, Liqu Sleek Liquid Matte Lipsticks. These were the first ever liquid matte lipsticks that I ever got. And I obviously, because they were the first ones I ever got, I didn't realise, you know, um, what a matte liquid lipstick could feel like i was quite positive about them but because i've tried so many different other ones these are the worst ones that i've tried out of all liquid matte lipsticks they feel so dry on your lips they make your lips look like crust they're just you know not very good the older they get the worse they get um it's just like throughout the day it crumbles off it does stay on really well but the middle part doesn't so it just looks really really weird and I just don't like these and I don't wear them so I'm either going to be throwing them out or giving them away to family members I would do put them in a giveaway for you guys to win but because I've obviously used them I can't really do that because it's disgusting and finally this little guy isn't really a hate hate it's kind of like a not the best kind of product and this is the rimmel insta fix and go i do still use this every single day i do try and make it work as much as possible when you first get it it's really really good but after a while i think the um spray gets kind of like clogged up with something and it just means that there's big chunks of water just flying at your face it's not a fine kind of mist that just gently covers your face it kind of clumps in different areas this was five pounds and for the amount that you get that is very very good and it has lasted me a long time but it does end up going a bit funny so i do have to get a sponge and kind of pat it in otherwise you just have these blobs all over your face um so that was kind of a negative for this but it's not really the biggest negative um in the world i just thought i'd mention that because i have been quite positive about this before so that is my 2017 best and worst makeup products. As I said, I do want to do some more makeup product, uh, makeup products, makeup videos in the future because I do, you know, love my makeup, get into it a lot more than I used to. So I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.